Marshmallow Fanboy back with another action figure review. This time, four Marvel Legends retro figures that I think are from the same wave. I'm not absolutely sure. There isn't really a, a character list on the back of the card or anything. So I'm just, I'm just not sure. It feels like I ordered them all around the same time. Uh, I wasn't collecting these at first. I'm still not. But I couldn't resist a Moon Knight. I ordered that while Moon Knight was still on the air or about to air. I ordered Firestar, but I never got Iceman. So I have the original Spider-Man. I have Firestar, and I know now I need Iceman. Black Widow is just super cool. I don't, I don't fully understand why I ordered it. And first appearance Spider-Man isn't as bright and colorful as the other Spider-Man, which complements Firestar better. But damn it, I have all of the other Spider-Mans, including Venom, which is kind of a Spider-Man since the symbiote belonged belong to him at one point. So Dag Nabbit, I, <laughs> I, I got it. I love I love the cape on Moon Knight. Moon Knight was a uh, Amazon delivery, so of course the the bubble is caved in, which is okay. I was gonna open him anyway, but dang nab, I wish that stuff came in better shape. And very cool picture card. I wish the as always that this was more of a file card and went straight across and gave you information that you could cut out and stick with it. I don't like the the multiple language thing. Um, I understand that you can sell this in multiple countries without without changing the verbiage, but I wish that it was more like a file card from my, my youth than it was sort of just a little bit of information for everyone. I sounded real selfish. And I'm sorry everyone who isn't me. So Firestar was also an Amazon purchase, so they, uh, yeah, they bent the, the shiz out of that card. I love that card. That card is so cool. Moon Knight had a really cool card too. But I love the colors. I love the the yellow kind of fading to the orange to the red on the on the legs and on the arms. Uh, there's a little bit of it uh, on the neck. Or that's just an opening for the skin. Never mind, that's just skin. But I do really like that figure a lot. Black Widow is just Gosh, the classic uniform. I don't know. It, it. I know that it's not George Perez, but Marvel Fanfare, I think number 10 had the cover, where it's just an all-black cover, and it was it was Black Widow coming at you. And that's sort of what it reminded me of. Was It was a really good George Perez memory, and I thought, I'll get it. I know it's not George Perez. I just, it evoked something, and I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to have it. So I, I can't can't explain to you why I got Black Widow. Uh, I just did. <laughs> Amazing Fantasy. It's a... Uh, this one was... Um, God, am I unfairly putting... I think Moon Knight was Big Bad Toy Store. Firestar. Two of these. No, it was... Uh, yeah, it was Thing and Black Widow were Big Bad Toy Store. So they came in great condition. Thing I'll open later when I get Mr. Fantastic, so I can have all four of the Fantastic Four. But for right now, Amazing Fantasy, first appearance Spider-Man. I don't know how the the uh, the arms move with those web wings, but the web wings look super cool. I like that a lot. It, it looks closer to kind of an old Todd McFarlane drawing than it does to a, to a Steve Ditko drawing, but I don't, not absolutely sure if they're using a, yeah, that's probably a, I don't want to say that, and then it's not. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that's probably not Steve Ditko. It's probably newer artwork. They might not have wanted to pay the estate, maybe. Uh, I say all that, having no idea if any of that is true. So let's, uh, I've, I've busted these out on camera before, but since there's four of them, I'm going to open all of them and cut out the cards, and then we'll be right back. Okay, now that they're out of the package, let's take a closer look at Marvel Legends Retro Firestar, First Appearance Spider-Man, Moon Knight, and Black Widow. 
first let's start with Black Widow because she's holding a um, grappling gun. She's the only one who comes with an accessory, which makes sense. Most of the other heroes' powers are sort of agility or something more um, physical. In Moon Knight's case, the the costume is probably striking enough. The cape is probably enough of an addition. The thing can't be held sort of um, straight out without falling over. Let me turn up the, the light a bit, or a lot. Let's see, the, the it just points straight down. It's kind of kind of looks awful unless it's pointing straight down. And pointing straight down is kind of the only way she balances. Otherwise, it throws her off enough that she falls over or you tilt her backwards. So let's go over the points of articulation for Black Widow. The hands rotate. I don't know if, if I've noticed that on other other releases like uh, Wolverine and and uh, then, but the, you get, yeah, the bracelets move too. So the rotation is coming from the bracelets. Because even when I move the hand, the bracelets are, are, are rotating. Also, her arms, I don't know if the arms do or they do on Spider-Man, but there's kind of a little crease here. I'm not sure if that's that's something that can that can um, be rotated also. The head rotates a, a lot all the way around. That was achy. I'm going to go back the other way. I don't know why I'm weird about that. Okay. 360 degree arms and the legs not all the way down but you get into a to a vehicle or something does the kind of an awkward awkward splits no movement in the boots or in the feet so one two three four five six seven points of articulation on black widow and put that back in line without the Without the grappling hook gun, let's do Moon Knight next. Moon Knight has a great um, Black Widow's bracelets are molded on, but her belt is painted on. Uh, the belt here is molded on, and the detail, uh, the the logo is is uh, painted on. And that's nice. It's all white, all white body with the belt. It's probably reused. Oh, the cape I think maybe comes off. Does it come off? Yeah, it comes off. And then he's, uh, wow, that's, that's off-putting. Oh, it has a little uh, peg in the back, so you can put it right back on him, and then hopefully you can, or hopefully not you, but hopefully I can put it back in the peg. There we go. It's back in the peg. Saw a little, uh, little gold here on the inner thigh for the registration. It's probably on all the figures in different colors. But very cool. The head, I'm sure, moves 360 degrees. I'm not going to take the cape off again. The arms come up. The hands do... They rotate. Okay, they rotate at the glove. So just like Black Widow's does at the... Uh, at the bracelets. So does that. And Moon Knight sits down almost all the way. And... Let's see, do his boots twist? No, it just kind of looks like it. There's a little bit of a of a of a line on the boots, so I thought maybe maybe they moved, but no. And I'll put Moon Knight back in line. Firestar. Let's see, in addition to the cool costume, head moves 360 degrees. Creepy. Move it back. Arms all the way around. The hands rotate. The the separation between the the rotation is a little less um, well defined because the gloves are like are like flames, but it doesn't provide a break in the paint anywhere, so it's all it's all pretty seamless. Looks really good. And the legs, let's see, wow, less less bend than the others, or maybe it's the same. It's Black Widow, I'm not sure. Again. The boots look like they should rotate. It looks like there's a little separation, a little separation in there, a little discoloration there, but they do not move. That is Firestar. It's very cool. See, 
see Spider-Man um, probably super cool because of the web wings and because the fact that the arms rotate so the web wings kind of move out of the way and they can be on the outside if you want them presented or they can be on the inside so if he's aiming up like this he can he can be like this so they you know if you're a little kid and you're playing with him he can he can fly this way it's very cool um it also looks like little little blades if they stick out so let's see head i'm gonna assume that's 360 degrees the arms 360 degrees move these to the back so that they appear like that let's see nothing in the waist that is almost all the way flat and the boots do not rotate he has a he has black instead of blue and a darker red but i like the black on him i don't know if that's the way that it kind of looked on amazing fantasy but that is what they have decided that he is there was some other figure that was recently i think it was a it was a 66 batman figure it was a lunchbox uh, for New York Comic Con, and it had a Batman where it should be blue. It was it was black, but it was the regular colors throughout. And I was wondering if that was a look on the show, or if that was maybe his way of not putting out one that was just like the other one. I'm not sure. But my verdict on these is, God, man, I don't want to collect these, but. I am, I am oddly drawn to these. I don't, I can't explain it. I think it started because I wanted to get a full set of Fantastic Four figures, and then I thought, well, why not throw Spider-Man in the mix? And then once I had Spider-Man, I thought, you know, I love the street level heroes, so why not get Daredevil? But Daredevil was dating a, a Black Widow, so now I got Black Widow and Moon Knight, street level, super cool, and the show was on and. And now I got to get Iceman to complete, you know, um, uh, Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends set. Uh, also, these cards came with it, so I cut them all out, and I'm gonna file them away somewhere. So if you're, um, this was a cover, I think it was Moon Knight number one or something. So I remember that. I don't remember that 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 was Amazing Fantasy number fifteen, but. The rest of them I do not recognize. So that's it for this review. Uh, I had a lot of fun. These are going to be fun to, to pose together on a shelf or at work one day. So until next time, enjoy your toys.